Welcome to the evening edition of the Bay Report. Thanks for watching. Um, as you know, there have been strange events today involving plastic bags all over San Francisco. Um, tonight with us, Dr. Anderson here to uh, try to explain this phenomenon. Uh, but first, let's go back to today's event um, flashback. About the strange uh, plastic bag phenomenon. Did you ladies see anything today that was weird with plastic bags? Oh my god! So right now I am with Summer. And Summer, uh, what was your experience with the bags? Oh, they like swirled around me and it was just. Oh, it was just like this like spiritual thing and they were just swirling and swirling and I just. I felt like it was like magic. But, but what do you think they are? I, I think they're aliens and they're telling us that we need to love one another. And they were just like a kaleidoscope of colors. They were like green and red. Oh, Doc, and Dr. Anderson. And, no, I'm sorry, I really don't want to talk Hi, about. Dr. Anderson, sorry. Um, I'm Josephine Temple from the, the Bay Reporter. Um, I heard you're the expert who just flew in from the East Coast the bag um, phenomenon. So what are your conclusions so far? So really at this point in time we don't have any clues today. We do know that the way that these bags are made is simply because of winds. There's some other force at work but we're really not quite sure what this time. But do you have any scientific explanation for this? Um, besides this, really we need more data. So are you suggesting that it might be um, the live features? Ah, excuse me, I have to go. Oh, doctor! Doctor! So, Dr. Anderson, you're a jellyfish specialist. Um, can you tell us why you were brought in yesterday from the East Coast? Yeah. Well, these plastic bags, as they move throughout the city, have similar movements to those of jellyfish. Because jellyfish actually don't have brains. It's simply they move with the currents that are in the ocean due to tides. Um, you know, we have been actually looking at plastic bags for quite some time, but we always thought it was just due to wind, but now because these bags are having such unique movements, we're speculative as to whether or not there's something else going on. So did anything new happen um, since this afternoon? Um, yes, actually. Um, if you go ahead and access the map, to which we have a link. Um, there is evidence showing that the jellyfish are grouping and actually seem to be conglomerating at a single point in San Francisco. That's why I flew out here last night to check out this phenomenon. Um, at this point, I mean, what do you recommend people do? Should people be scared? Uh, should they be confident? We recommend that people stay away from the Transamerica building and that if they see a bag, they don't approach it, they let it be, um, since we are inconclusive as to whether or not these bags can be harmful. Um, yes, do you have any other questions? Um, you mentioned earlier to me that you were working with the SPCA. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, we have been working with local authorities with expertise on animals um, to contain these bags if possible since we are unsure of the nature of the bag. Um, but they are swarming and it seems to be out of our control whether or not this is a positive or negative event. Thanks, Dr. Anderson, for those insights. Now you can um, check more info on bagsalive.com and if anyone in our audience uh, wants to share what they saw or just their thoughts or their uh, theory on what's going on, you um, should definitely tweet uh, with, the with the hashtag, sorry, Bags Alive, and we will keep covering this uh, story tonight.